Welcome to the ninth tutorial of Android animation series in which we are working on Android view animations. In the previous tutorials, we work on scale animations, rotate animations, slide animations, etc. etc. And now uh, we will try to combine all those animations in a set and we per will perform that one on after another known as sequential animation. So let's get started. First of all, I want to perform the scale animation. So from X scale. Uh, 1.0 to x scale uh, from x scale 1.0 from y scale 1.0 to x scale 1.5 and y scale to 1.5 and let's let me um, again change this to rep content rep content and set the gravity to center layout underscore gravity to center gravity center so now the button is centered and now let's change this animation so if you want to perform a sequential animation there are two options with you either you play the animation or start the animation together or start the animation one after another so firstly I will start the animation one after another so let me first run this You can see that this is a uh, scale animation, but since we, are, we have not provided a pivot x and pivot y, that's why it's not uh, scaling from the center. So let me give pivot x 50% and pivot y 50%. And now run this. Now you can see it is uh, animating from the center. So now what I want to do is uh, after the completion of scale animation, I want to perform a ro rotate animation. So all I have to do is to declare here rotate animation from degree 0 to degree 360 Android mm, pivot y 50% pivot x 50% And Android duration is equal to one second repeat mode Android repeat mode is equal to reverse Android repeat count is equal to infinite and now if I want to start this animation uh, together I don't have to pass the you know, start offset but if I want to start this animation after this scale animation is completed I have to pass start offset Android start offset is equal to now how, how much time this animation will take it will take one second so I have to pass thousand here it means that start this animation after that one second is passed so during that one second the scale animation will take place and assume that as soon as that one second is completed this rotate animation will take place and start so let me run this application and then you will understand how it works you can see scale animation is completed and then a rotate animation starts scale completed rotate start scale completed rotate start so this is how this uh, sequential animation works. So now, if you want to uh, give another animation here, for example, uh, first scale, then rotate, and then I want to create alpha animation. So Android um, from alpha 1.0 to alpha. 0.5 I don't want to make it invisible and let me copy the repeat count duration etc from here so let us save some time so from alpha 1.0 to alpha 0.5 duration one second repeat count re repeat mode reverse and repeat count infinite and now one second this scale animation will take one second so thousand this this rotate animation will take one second so two thousand 
so i want to start this at 2000 offset it means that when two seconds pass on the, then this start this animation so uh, during uh, those two seconds the scale animation and the rotate uh, rotate animation will take place so let's run okay i have to close this and now let's run completed and now you can see that the alpha animation is also take place but at the end completed so here uh, this way you can use as many animations as you want so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will work on uh, together animations this was sequential animation so stay tuned